Hi everyone! On this video I will show you how to get started on Ubus platform. First of all you need to create your account, press register, fill all fields that you see and verify your account after that. I will already create an account, that's why I just log in. After first login you will see some virtual tools that can help you to create your first workspace and show you how to create all services. Press create. Enter the name. After that, press open. On this page, you will see all our services. That's your editor, web user interface builder, NetRed, that is backend system, and three types of database. Let's create our first service. Uh, we will start from UI Editor, for example. On this page, you can select uh, all plans that you need. Uh, for example, I want to create Medium UI Editor. Uh, also, you need to note that you can uh, cha you can't change the uh, name of your service after creation. You need to put this name now. No. And press Create Service. After creating service, you will see that uh, now is service initialization and need to wait a few se seconds, minutes for all settings uh, configurations. Uh, also, you will see your service in the list. On your editor, you will see all your editors that you create, on Flow Builders, all Notred system, and on Data Store, all uh, database that you will create. Uh, also, all actions that you do, you can do with the service that's delayed, open, for example. Uh, re uh, read more information about the service and uh, copy link to your service. Press next. Uh, to open the service just need to press on the name. And we see that our editor is ready to work. Uh, let's create one more service. Let's create notread system. For example, I want small notread. Remember the name. You can change uh, it later. And we also see that uh, it's uh, yellow for some indicators that will show that other services now in initialization and we can open it. After initialization, we can uh, use our service. When we wait for an attractive configuration, we can show uh, we can see just more information about our UI editor service. Just press there and it will open service settings. Uh, we will see there are some information like name of the service, type, status, uh, something like recent activity, subscription info, some system info, and uh, connection to the git if you have it. Uh, on the costs page, you will see uh, all that you won't need to spend for the service and how many you have already spent for the service. Our Nutrad service is ready. We also can find uh, all information that we need about this service. Is it the same like in UI Editor? Overview, some recent activity, subscription info, some system info, and you can connect to the Git. And also you can see all cost information. Also, we have page that uh, named user settings where you can find more information about your account. Uh, you can add additional information for yourself. You can find credit page where you can charge your balance. Just put how many you want to charge and agree with term and condition. Also, you can see current spendings that you have. Uh, also, you need to note that all services will be stopped when your balance is less than $5. You can also find some subscription info. You can filter it uh, active. You want to see cancelled, maybe some incomplete subscriptions. Uh, by default, you will see your active subscriptions. And you can find uh, on this menu some information about your payment method, this information about your card. And you can find uh, some payment history that you have. Also, you can uh, open your billing portal that allow you to cancel your subscription and see additional information about your account. Also, we can open our services uh, not right to see how it looks like. Wait for loading. Uh, also, you can connect to the Git in the, in the start of the using service. And our UI editor, you also can connect to the Git and uh, create your page using some widgets or apps. That's all for today. Have a nice day, guys.